our very first speaker, Mr. Christopher Lee from Goodwill. He's going to share some information with us on recycling and the economy and the reuse economy of good growth. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for letting me come up and share with you today. I really appreciate it. Um, my topic's changed a little bit. Um, I tailored it to what we do at Goodwill. So um, the name of my presentation is Goodwill Strategy and Going Green. Oh, sorry, everybody. Oh, I was trying to be helpful. <laughs> <laughs> How do you turn it down? Just a I started off at Goodwill about six and a half years ago. I started as the manager of support services. I was overseeing everything from the truck drivers to the material handlers at the door. And then in the last two and a half to three years, I've been able to focus in on our recycling efforts.
recycling effort at the Goodwill starts when you drop off your donation at our donation door. Each item is checked to make sure it meets our quality standards before it goes to the sales floor. If the item fails to meet the quality check or if it fails to sell on the sales floor at our <coughs> sales rotation, it's uh, either salvaged or recycled or it goes into our waste management system. Landling and Goodwill prides itself on being good stewards of every donation that we receive. In uh, fiscal year 2012, Landling and Goodwill was able to convert 84% of the possible trash items away from the landfill due to our recycling and salvage efforts. Landling and Goodwill, uh, we salvage and recycle in the following areas. Uh, we create bales for mixed rags, recycle cardboard, we sell shoes on the salvage market. Uh, we sell uh, single or reject shoes. That's shoes that don't qualify for the normal salvage market. Uh, we also sell purses. We sell recycle books. Uh, we uh, recycle computers and e-waste. Uh, you know, last January, the state of Illinois came out with a new law that uh, banned like 13 additional items from the landfill. Well, we accept every single one of those items and plus any computer-related item at our donation doors, and we don't charge a thing to uh, take your product and recycle it. Uh, we also uh, recycle small, hard plastic toys. Uh, the picture here is uh, a picture of bailed stuffed animals. And uh, we do salvage metal, and uh, we uh, recycle plastic. In uh, fiscal year 2012, Land Lincoln Goodwill diverted 7,372,634 pounds of material. Uh, four and a half million of that was uh, clothing that uh, was bailed and sold on you know, the you know, fixed rag market. Uh, 435,000 pounds of salvage metal, uh, about 120,000 pounds of televisions, televisions and electronic waste. Just a little short of 350,000 or 350,000 pounds of computers and, and peripheral devices, uh, 300 uh, plus thousand pounds of cardboard, 412,000 pounds of salvage books, 641,000 pounds of shoes and purses, uh, just a little over 240,000 pounds of toys, and 355,000 pounds of plastic. Where do those small, hard plastic toys go? <laughs> I have a vendor that I work with on the uh, West Coast, and he buys them by the truckload. And uh, he sells them, I don't know if he sells them here in the United States or whether he sells them overseas, but uh, he's been buying that product for like a year and a half from now. Wow, I know those are So. And are they resold as toys or as plastic? I'm not sure. I think in some areas he sells the toys themselves, um, but they, they could also end up in the recycling market. Once he buys them, um, you know, everybody that I, that I deal with, um, I check to make sure that they're not selling stuff overseas, that, you know, where it's going to go in a landfill and it's working in another country and stuff. Um, all the vendors that I deal with are reputable people and, and the, they're partnering with me to make sure that things are recycled. The, the stuffed animals we bail, um, the hard plastic, uh, right now we have uh, vertical balers, we don't have a horizontal baler, so it's kind of hard to bail plastic at the moment, but that's something that we're looking at. Uh, yeah, the pop, I know you said uh, the pop of plastic. I was just what kind of plastic? All plastic. <laughs> anything, anything that's made of plastic that you would buy to have in your house uh, when you're tired of having it, you bring that item to uh, Goodwill, we do our best to recycle it responsibly. Um, before we started to focus in on recycling and salvage, the organization had already been selling uh, loads of mixed rags, shoes and purses, uh, and books on the secondary market. Um, the decision was made to look into expanding our revenue opportunities through recycling and salvage. In the second half of uh, fiscal year 2009, we started bailing cardboard. Um, 
in that first six month period, we bailed 44 tons of cardboard. We also started selling salvage metal. In six months, we sold uh, 55 tons of metal. And then we also started recycling cell phones and like recycled about 300 cell phones in the first six months. In uh, fiscal year 2011, uh, Land O'Lincoln Goodwill started to track all of the recycling and salvage sales just so we could track and see what type of benefit uh, we were uh, getting from you know, expanding our program. Uh, we also focused on expanding our recycling and salvage vendor base and uh, recycling more products. Uh, we became involved with uh, computer and e-waste recycling. And in fiscal year 2012, we recycled 400, about 462,000 pounds of computers and e-waste. Uh, Land Link and Goodwill has been able to achieve this success in part through its participation in the Dell Reconnect program. Um, that there is a pallet full of monitors um, all packaged up and ready to be put on a truck and uh, sent back to one of Dell's recycling partners to be recycled as possible. <coughs> Dell Reconnect is a partnership between Dell and Goodwill that provides an easy, convenient, and responsible residential computer recycling solution. Um, like I mentioned before, any computer-related item um, from the computer itself right down to the toner cartridge can be recycled as well as Dell Reconnect. Um, along with this effort, um, Goodwill has partnered with various vendors to recycle televisions and other electronics waste. Oh, so we do take we take TV, you know, all the TV, all the TVs, all the e-waste that's been banned from the landfills in the state of Illinois, um, all the computers <coughs> and peripherals, we'll take any of that our donation was. Each, each good world, like Peoria or whatever, they may not take this Yeah, I can't, I can't speak for what Peoria does because they're in a different territory. Sure. Um, I don't know who they're partnering with, but I know of a, there's a lot of good goals um, across the country that partner with Del Rico. In fiscal year 2011, when I became the director of recycling and salvage, I decided to develop better methods to track all of the recycling and salvage revenue. In fiscal year 2011, we added television recycling to our product mix. Uh, by fiscal year 2011, it was the first year that we cracked the billion dollar mark in salvage and recycling revenue. In fiscal year 2013, we're on track to achieve $2 million of revenue, which would be 100% increase in the year period. In fiscal year 2012, we started recycling plastic. Um, that's an example of a test bale of salvage plastic that we produced. It weighs like 715 pounds. Um, like I said, the vertical bailing equipment that we have, so you can Bail the plastic in those machines, it's just not the best way to do it as far as for our needs. We found the market for the small hard plastic toys and the market for bales of stuffed animals. Uh, we started recycling the large plastic items. Uh, the first year we recycled in excess of 300, 355,000 pounds of large plastic items. That's anything bigger from your elbow down here. And our biggest remaining challenge is uh, locating vendors willing to uh, partner with us to uh, accept plastic glasses. Um, I don't know if anybody else here um, is in the plastic recycling business, but uh, there's something going on right now called China Green Gate. And uh, the Chinese are getting real picky about what types of plastic they're going to accept from America. And uh, it's got to meet certain standards. So. Um, that policy has really put a kibosh on the uh, plastic recycling efforts uh, at the moment. So I think this is kind of square. Recycling and salvage is the key to Land uh, Lincoln Goodwill achieving the triple bottom line of people and planet profit. Uh, recycling and salvage has helped us to create more jobs for people in our community. Uh, recycling and salvage has allowed us 
reduce our trash, hand, trash handling expense. In uh, fiscal year 2012, trash expense was 1.3% of our retail sales figure for the year. And we've got 11 store locations, three donation centers, a couple of tea stores. So um, we're talking you know, trash expense for 17 facilities. Recycling and salvage has allowed us to generate more revenue to support our mission. So, thank you for allowing me to speak with you today. Um, that's my contact information. If uh, anybody wants to call and ask more questions or get more information about what we do, I'd be glad to talk with anybody who wants to give me a call or send me an email.